Hi, this is Eric with the Modern Work and Security Practice here at Journey Team. And I wanted to give everybody a quick update on our journey of moving customers from traditional Active Directory up into Microsoft's cloud, now known as Entra ID at the identity layer up in the cloud, used to be known as Azure AD. So if you haven't heard that Azure AD is now Entra ID, be aware of that. So I'm gonna cover four main points today, just the security element, the break glass account, some lessons learned from severing that Active Directory to Entra ID connection, and then a quick little update on passwordless evolution and the journey of that as it relates to Windows login. First of all, security is number one and has to be key. If you don't have MFA in place for all of your users, if you haven't deployed Microsoft Defender for Office 365 or Defender for Endpoint through the Intune ecosystem or Defender for Identity, those are very important to have in place before you start jumping more holistically with all in on the cloud. Number two, your break glass account. You definitely want your break glass account and you need a playbook for how to exercise and use that break glass account. I've had experience where I had a family member that had a, their tenant taken over by a bad actor and he could not get into his tenant with an administrative account for a week. And the, having that break glass playbook could be a super important aspect if that ever were to happen to you. Okay, number three, lessons learned from us actually removing the AD link to Entra ID. So today there's a supported way of doing that. There's one way. Uh, don't just take the user objects out of sync scope and they get deleted in the cloud and then you resurrect them and then uh, they're now cloud mastered. That's not gonna be the supported way to do that. So we've done several projects where we've properly broken that at synchronization and flipped all the objects so they're native cloud objects. There's a fair amount of planning that you need to do to go down that process. And so today that's the best way to do that is to plan that cut over and um, break the sync for all accounts and then reconnect the sync for things that you may or may not need in the future. The last point here is just a quick update on passwordless and Windows 11 now has the ability to never require a password for that user's interaction with the desktop. You can push that configuration out with an Intune policy and the passwordless experience where like you have a UAC prompt or run as doesn't even try to do passwordless, including logging into the desktop where it natively connects to the cloud. It's called web authentication. And so that's a really nice new feature that comes with Windows 11 on that journey towards pure passwordless. So hope this helps give you a quick update on the security aspect, your break glass account, some lessons learned on that AD connection and breaking that process and furthering that journey down full passwordless. So thanks for listening and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.